when most people think of chemistry, they think of things like explosions or breaking bad. But it is in fact chemical processes such as electrolysis that are very important to chemistry. But what actually is electrolysis? This may look quite complicated. This entire process can be boiled down into the following diagram. Electrolysis is the breaking down of ionic compounds using electricity. The electrolyte solution is made up of positive and negative ions. The positive ions are known as cations, as shown in the diagram. A good trick to use is saying cations are positive. The anions are negative. By placing electrodes connected to a battery inside the solution, electrolysis can take place. This occurs when the anode becomes positive due to its connection with the battery, and therefore attracts the negative anions. This occurs with the cathode as well. As we can see with this example of molten sodium chloride, the negative chloride ions move towards the anode, and the positive sodium ions move towards the cathode. Since the chloride ions are negatively charged, the extra electron will go onto the anode, and the extra electrons of the cathode will be attracted to the sodium ions. This transferring of electrons means that electricity is flowing. Therefore, at the anode, chlorine is formed, and at the cathode, sodium is formed. What are the uses of electrolysis in industry, though? Examples of where electrolysis can be used in industry include the permanent removal of hair, as well as the generation of oxygen, which is useful in space, and finally to produce hydrogen gas and chlorine gas from brine. All of the products in this reaction have many uses, as you can see on this diagram. Chlorine is used in plastic, sodium hydroxide is used in soap, but make sure you don't drop it. Now that we've seen other uses of electrolysis, we're going to be talking about copper plating. As you can see on the video, these various metal items are getting copper plated using industrial methods of electrolysis. So to simplify what they are doing in industry when they are copper plating, we can take a look at this more simplified version of the electrolysis that is taking place. The copper sulfate used as the electrolyte solution contains copper ions, which are the cations. They are attracted to the cathode, which is negative, thereby coating the cathode in copper, and so copper plating the object. In industry, what are the main uses of copper plating? The copper coating is usually used to make things look better aesthetically, such as coins, cutlery, rods, and keys. But it can also be used, such as in wiring, to make it conductive. In addition, it is also used for lots of other metal objects. To coat the objects is very simple. All you need to do is take the metal object you want to coat in copper and use it as the cathode in the experiment. The copper ions will be attracted to the object and therefore coat it in copper. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't...